you into my life or whatever. Forever, feeling like you could do better, better than me. I'm wishing OT, wishing you stay. Guys, what's going on today? And welcome back to episode 14 of Trading to Icon Ronaldinho. We come back here, guys. We have 360k right now, and a load of uh, silver championship players, and a couple of informs as well from what we've actually bought on to make some nice coins. And hopefully, to start off here, now I'm going to go check the price of informs. You'll see that just there, guys. I want to just say thanks so much for 4,550 subs. Really, really appreciate that. Keep the support coming, guys. It would be really appreciated. FIFA's not so bad this year, I don't think, in terms of trading them ever. So hopefully, they'll improve the game. Gameplay while we trade, and it should be a good year. But yeah, thanks for all the support so far, guys. Like I say, please keep it coming. Uh, trying to hit 5k by Christmas. I did drop a sub if you are new around here. But yeah, just starting off, guys, now having a look around for what we won. And uh, yeah, you'll see we're just listing up some of the stuff. We've got a lot of championship players in the old championship that we're doing. Uh, of course, it was um, by putting in. What did we put in? It was championship silver and 300 by now. And we bought anything that came up. And we did get some pretty nice deals. You'll see here, like this Bentley guy. I think he's held on for a little bit. Yeah, around 750, and then obviously that Abdi here. This is the best deal I've had probably from this filter, uh, or not far off 1.8k or something like that. He goes for, which is a very nice problem. Now five times the coins. You'll just see those players in the background now. I just want to say, guys, sorry for not uploading this in a while. It's difficult to do. Like there'll be another one out pretty soon. It's just that I'm, it's not on my main account, of course. And I like trading on my main account, so I'm gonna try and get this out more and more. But yeah, I'm just struggling a bit at the moment to try and get it out. So yeah, hopefully as time goes on, we will get this out a little bit more. But yeah, apologies for not doing it in a while. But yeah, uh, you see there, Pinto. Um, he goes for like 5k, so like 4k. I can't remember now. Yeah, around 4k it was. So we listed him up there for 3.2. We got two of those. And this guy here um, was just like, we had to basically get rid of him. It was just a loss. I had to take because basically, I haven't been in this account in so long and I forgot all about it. I'm not going to lie. I forgot to check the players that I had on here. So pretty much that was just my mistake. And we'll forget all about that one. It's only like a little loss. So it doesn't really matter too much. We'll take it and move on, obviously, and make some easy coins on other stuff. But CJ Emmanuel Thomas here. This guy, 300 to the 400. That's the worst profit you can make off his method, which is why he's so good. I mean, it's the worst method, like, worst profit. And I'm still making loads which is just what you want really a nice little bit of profit and yeah we can go and list those up obviously right there and build our way up to some more coins with a bit of luck so you see this leads right back 200 coins once again 950 to tell him on for which is very nice and finally Huntingdon here guys from Preston North End 950 coins the cheapest this is over 700 and we'll see what happens when we sell on but we're coming back here now guys I'm gonna go and do these two SBCs so the Sporting and the Porto one are the two SBCs we're gonna do Basically, I'm going to show you now. This is the team that we use for the spoil. If you want to screenshot that guy and do it yourself, you can. We basically, what we spent, we made coins on. I don't can't remember how much it was exactly, but we made coins. That's all that matters. That's all we ever aim for. So we go and put that one in there now first. And then, guys, after that, we go down here and you look here. We've got the Porto one. So this one, once again, screenshot it if you want to. If you need any help or any questions with it, 95 chem right there. We just go and actually move Lyon into left back to get 100 chem there. So once again, guys, nice little pack. That we can get for ourselves prime gold players pack very good pack indeed so we can go and sort those out and then in here now you'll see we have sold on most of the stuff both the mother sold for 10k abdi sold for 1.6 and you'll see that everything pretty much sold on i mean you'll ask here now what are these i um, guys i apologize it's going to happen every now and again on stream i run out of um what's i run out of um like uh, get transfer market bands. I had to go buy some stuff on another account while streaming. We got this Triori for I think the, I can't remember what it was, but these Baines are both 102k. You sold on both ones. I always leave stuff in there. Apologies, guys. If you don't watch my streams, I recommend you do so because you may miss a little bit. Like check in when you can. But you get a Hunter Morris now for 1.7. Sell on for 2.7. Hopefully another uh, Muller you'll see for 9k here. Listen that one up now. For 10,750, the ad road's a little bit higher, which is pretty nice. A Barisia for 9k, selling this on for 9.9, .9, 400 coins after tax, which is pretty decent. We then have a Rals here, um, 200 coins of him. You see, there's a bit of 100, and look at this for a deal, guys. 3k he goes for. We'll list him up for 2.7. Hopefully, they should sell on pretty well. And then we have a right mid Thalvin. He got an inform and he's right mid, guys. And in, I think one was in a Hunter, wasn't it? Here we get his area there, and yeah, one was in a Hunter. So I went and checked his price, and then we got another one at the same time, so we can go and Stay with me a second. I'll just show you here right now, pretty much with Falvin, what he's actually going for, and you'll see we make some really nice coins. Um, 
we're going to here and we're 360k with all these places so we start off with 360k in this episode as well which is very very good there and you see 2.3k for again another one's up guys 2.3 so on for like 2.7 2.8k so yeah 2.8k i mean we've already got two others i think it was so they're all selling very well which is some really really nice profit before tax and even afterwards some nice profit this one for 2k in a hunter list of the 3.5 because i've been in a hunter another one sorry in a hunter or two of them in a hunter what happened and how we got both of those but yeah there we go hopefully they'll sell on for the next episode for you guys but here now we have three packs one with a two players pack from one of the daily rewards so i thought I might as well open this one as well and i'll show you right now guys we go and we get a board i was like what the hell how have we got a board from this and it was like crazy but obviously nothing too special there but regardless of that guys it's still a board which is insane essential because i thought isco for a second then i was about to go crazy with that disc guy one of these but we got a Sensio and a Pro League player. So we'll list it up now. We see it goes to around 3k, 4k, something like that. Around 3k, I believe, once looking through these. I mean, we'll list it up here. And hopefully that will sell on pretty easily. And, yeah, very nice. Seeing this Sagli kick and listing up for 150. Hopefully he'll get a bid or whatever. And so now we have two Prime Gold Players packs here. I was expecting something really good out of these. But they're actually awful. I'm not going to lie. Uh, here you see no boards out of a 45k pack. I'm expecting at least like a decent player back out of these. But the thing is, even though we got nothing we still made coins which is always what you're after so that's always happy stuff like we've made like nothing as much like from the packs as interesting players but we did make coins so that's always what we aim for which we hopefully did enjoy this video guys you'll see these packs towards the end now and then there'll be some more trading in the next episode let me know if you want to see this more often guys I don't know what to upload at the moment I need a bit of help in telling you what you want to see I'll say 0 to 100k series out pretty much every day at the moment I know you're enjoying that so I'll keep that coming of course but just tell me what you want to see I'm trying to do two videos every day but it's getting pretty difficult now we just need black friday to come we can get interesting again with some investing and sniping reactions and all that stuff and there's loads of packs out not far till that now though and then we should be back on that hype but you see they're listening up everything and then this gonzalez guy as well i mean i thought he might go for something but he's still not sold as of now so this is a few days ago now as well so hopefully he'll hustle on eventually i'm gonna keep listening until he sells and the second pack now guys here in this video we do go and pack another rubbish player well obviously there's no board so it's not a great player but like i say not a good player and once again this time it's going to be Algerian Brahimi so we basically we did the Porto SBC to get back a Porto player is essentially what happened there which is pretty annoying I'm not going to lie but yeah never mind I suppose it isn't awful when all things considered but I would have expected something a little bit better I'm not going to lie there but yeah hopefully we can move on from that and get ourselves something good in the future never mind I guess um, but yeah pretty frustrating though I'm not going to lie but we can make coins off it once again, of course, which is always all you aim for. Just profit. That's all I ever want, guys. Profit. I'm not going to lie. I don't, like, aim to expect to get something amazing. I mean, I don't fix it. I think, oh, I'm going to get something really good from these packs. I just know if I do these packs, I will make coins. That's why I did the SBCs. I only do SBCs. I know I'm going to make the profit back. I'd never risk losing coins in this series for an SBC. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please do drop a like if you're new. Let me know down below if you're new to the channel as well. Sub if you're new, guys, and I'll see you all next time with another video.